Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans with Logini Games. Well guys, I've got some replays to show you, some Go Vaho practice and farming while we're getting ready for clan war here. So guys, the September update is around the corner, look at this. I wanted to just share with you guys my kind of mental preparation for this update. Now I know that Supercell has talked about uh, adjusting the friendly challenges, even making heroes while they're upgrading uh, be usable in friendly challenge. Now I have to say, again, not making heroes usable in clan war totally violates the social play value and, and, and other things. Let's just, I'm going to leave it at that. And I really hope they reconsider that. But all that to say, we know they're going to be doing some improvements to friendly challenge. I'm really excited about that. I'm guessing that we're going to be seeing some balancing adjustments. That whole uh, minor buff nerf buff has got to be addressed, I'm sure. And, uh, and maybe some war weight balancing stuff. We might see that coming. Maybe not in this update, but I know they've said they want to do that in the future. But uh, overall, just my kind of mental preparedness for this update, I'm trying to keep an open mind. It, it, because I just, I don't know, I don't know what they could be doing with Friendly Challenge. I'm excited to see. Uh, but I know that the last time, you know, we were working on Friendly Challenge, it almost broke Clan War. So I know we're going to have to keep a little bit of an eye out for that see how it's going to be impacting clan war and that kind of thing here's another good good bit of loot right there so uh yeah but I, i'm just kind of excited overall i'm excited i'm really thankful for the values that the clash team shared with us i think that that really uh, communicates uh, volumes to the community really thankful for that and i'm just excited i think hey whatever this update's going to be uh new content is going to be good i'm really hoping for uh, some friendly stuff toward clan war. I want to see some love for clan war. I feel left out still as a clan war guy uh, I love clan war. That's my that's my game man. That's my jam y'all know that about me already uh, But I'm definitely enjoying farming right now something is going on right around gold one Where we've got some good raids. So if you're a town hall nine, you might want to make your way in this direction uh, Finally before we end out this video. I wanted to also just talk a little bit about uh, uh, the developers uh, communication uh, how they communicate their updates with the community uh, there was a post on the forums I'll try to find it and put it on screen basically uh, the developers don't like to announce new features ahead of time before they're set in stone for fear of not delivering on something that they've promised and, and thus disappointing the community now I understand uh, that sentiment I understand that a lot but I really think that the value of, of getting feedback from the community far outweighs the fear of failing expectations. I think that announcing uh, features when they're already set in stone without getting the proper feedback and just kind of pushing forward with it, it really offends the community a lot worse than announcing a feature and getting everybody excited and then failing to deliver. No, we always are understanding when when you're willing to communicate with us the community will always understand when changes have to be made but uh, more often than not the, the community just gets thrown for a massive loop when features are getting thrown into the game that are obviously uh, not fit for the game not well play tested the whole minor buff nerf is a great example friendly challenges were a great example so I, I, I would like to suggest uh, maybe that the the devs try a different strategy Rather than waiting until all of the features are ready to be launched to announce them, I think uh, there really needs to be a better system of getting feedback. Whether it's from the elite clashers on YouTube or whatever, I do not care how you do it. I just think it needs to happen. That where There needs to be better feedback being received from the community. The different play styles need to be represented in that feedback. Not just trophy pushers, not just clan war members, all that kind of stuff. And, and I think that's really going to go a long way for the health of the game overall. So that's my suggestion. My suggestion. I don't know if anybody's ever going to see my suggestion, but uh, for what it's worth, I shared it. So again, everybody, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really excited about the September update. I don't know what's coming yet, but I'm trying to keep an open mind and, and really think uh, positively about what is coming in the future for Clash of Clans. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.